This solar event could change the world as we know it. In the midst of our modern day, filled with technological marvels and electronic conveniences, the seemingly quiet distant star that grants us warmth, light and prosperity, occasionally reminds us of this sleeping giant's tremendous power. The Sun, in its perpetual cycle of activity, enters periods of intense activity that can impact our lives in profound and unexpected ways. As we stand on the cusp of Solar Cycle 25's peak, the current solar activity this year has sparked comparisons to the historic Carrington event of 1859, a solar storm so powerful that its effects were felt across the globe. The Sun, much like a calm, slumbering behemoth in the cosmic wilderness, occasionally stirs and flexes its immense muscles, sending ripples through the fabric of our daily lives. Its cycles of activity, much like the heartbeat of a giant, bring periods of tranquility, punctuated by sudden bursts of ferocious energy. As we approach the zenith of Solar Cycle 25, the Sun's recent outbursts remind us that this colossal star is far from dormant. The current solar activity, with its potential for dramatic impacts, is a cosmic drumroll that echoes the legendary Carrington event of 1859, an event that sent shockwaves through the world and etched itself into history as a testament to the Sun's awe-inspiring power. In the grand theatre of the cosmos, our technological age is but a fragile stage set, and the Sun, our central spotlight, can shift from a gentle illuminator to a tempestuous force capable of rewriting the script of our existence in ways both magnificent and terrifying. The Carrington Event – A Historical Prelude In the late summer of 1859, Richard Carrington, a British astronomer, was engrossed in his daily observations of the Sun. As he meticulously sketched the sunspots, a sudden flash of light caught his eye a brilliant white flare erupting from the solar surface. Unbeknownst to Carrington, this event would soon unleash a geomagnetic storm of unprecedented magnitude upon the Earth. The Carrington event, as it came to be known, was caused by a massive coronal mass ejection CME, that slammed into Earth's magnetosphere. The ensuing geomagnetic storm wreaked havoc on the nascent telegraph systems of the time. Telegraph lines sparked and operators received electric shocks. Auroras, typically confined to polar regions, were visible as far south as the Caribbean and even the islands of Hawaii. The science behind solar activity. The sun undergoes an approximately 11-year cycle of varying solar activity, driven by the changing magnetic field. This cycle includes periods of solar maximum, characterized by an increased number of sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections, and solar minimum with reduced activity. Solar Cycle 25, which began in December 2019, is currently approaching its peak, expected between January and October 2024. Solar flares are sudden, intense bursts of radiation emanating from the sun's surface, caused by the release of magnetic energy stored in the sun's atmosphere. These flares can produce significant amounts of X-rays and ultraviolet radiation. Coronal mass ejections, on the other hand, are massive bursts of solar wind and magnetic fields rising above the solar corona or being released into space. Both phenomena can have profound effects on Earth's magnetosphere and ionosphere. Fast forward to today, and the Sun is once again in the throes of a significant solar cycle. Solar Cycle 25, which began in December 2019, is rapidly intensifying. Recent solar activity has included powerful X-class flares and CMEs, reminiscent of the early stages of the Carrington event. On June 1, 2024, an X-1. Four flare erupted from the Sun, followed by another X-1. One flare on May 31, 2024. These flares are harbingers of heightened solar activity that can have far-reaching consequences. Unlike the 19th century, our reliance on technology today makes us far more vulnerable to solar storms. The modern world, interconnected through satellites, 
power grids and communication networks faces significant risks from intense solar activity. As the sun hurls its charged particles towards Earth, these can induce electric currents in power lines, potentially causing widespread blackouts. Satellites, which are crucial for everything from weather forecasting to GPS navigation, are at risk of being damaged or disabled, potential sending us back into the Stone Age, destroying all of our current modern electronic technology. What would you do if the power was out for months on end, even years potentially? One of the more awe-inspiring consequences of heightened solar activity is the appearance of auroras. During periods of intense geomagnetic storms, the skies become nature's canvas, painted with spectacular displays of color. The current solar activity has already stretched these vivid auroras far beyond their usual ranges, turning the night sky into a theatrical performance of dancing lights. These natural light shows, while mesmerizing, are the celestial whispers of the powerful forces at play above us, a cosmic reminder that the universe is always capable of unexpected beauty and intensity. Our technological advancements, which have propelled us into a new era of convenience and connectivity, also expose us to new vulnerabilities. The potential impacts of a major solar storm on power grids are particularly concerning. In March 1989, a geomagnetic storm caused by a CME led to a massive power outage in Quebec, Canada, plunging the province into darkness for over 12 hours. Similar storms today could have even more devastating effects, given our increased dependence on electricity. Satellites like Vigilant Sentinels perched in the heavens bear the brunt of solar storms' fury. These celestial guardians are the lifeline of our interconnected world, orchestrating the symphony of global communications, weather forecasts, and navigation with the precision of a maestro. Yet a single tempestuous solar event can strike them down, shattering the delicate web of services that our modern lives dance upon, much like a sudden power outage at a grand concert, leaving the audience in bewildered silence. The invisible danger, radiation, High-altitude flights, especially those navigating the polar skies, are like daring tightrope walkers crossing a stormy sea. During solar storms, these aircraft venture into an arena where the sun's fiery tempests can unleash a barrage of radiation, transforming the serene stratosphere into a perilous battlefield. Airline crews and passengers, much like brave mariners, could find themselves exposed to an invisible deluge of cosmic rays presenting unseen health risks akin to navigating through uncharted, treacherous waters. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station, or those embarking on future odysseys to the Moon and Mars, are the bold explorers of our age, venturing into the frontier of space. Yet, they too face the wrath of the sun's tantrums, where a solar storm can turn their voyage into a hazardous journey through a cosmic tempest. Space agencies, acting as vigilant lighthouse keepers, must keep a watchful eye on solar activity and issue timely warnings to safeguard these intrepid voyagers from the sun's unpredictable fury. In response to the potential threats posed by solar activity, scientists and engineers have developed sophisticated monitoring and prediction systems, space weather forecasting, using data from satellites like the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, and the Solar Dynamics Observatory, SDO, helps predict when CMEs and solar flares will impact Earth. This information is crucial for taking preventive measures to protect power grids, satellites, and other critical infrastructure. The Carrington event stands as a cautionary tale, a cosmic alarm bell ringing through the halls of history. It reminds us that the Sun, our life-giving star, can also be a capricious giant, capable of unleashing havoc with little warning. Although our knowledge of space weather has expanded, allowing us to peer into the Sun's tempestuous heart, the raw, untamed nature of solar storms remains as unyielding as ever. Today's solar activity, with its fierce flares and potent CMEs, mirrors the fury of 1859. 
It's like an ancient tale being retold in a modern setting, reminding us that no matter how advanced our technology becomes, we are still like sailors navigating under the unpredictable gaze of a celestial overlord. The sun, in all its blazing glory, continues to wield a power that can eclipse our technological defenses, making it clear that we are but humble tenants under its radiant dominion. A call to vigilance is upon us. As we move deeper into Solar Cycle 25, vigilance is essential. The sun, in its eternal dance of energy and magnetism, will continue to challenge us with its unpredictability. The potential for a solar storm on par with the Carrington event is a sobering reality. By preparing and adapting, we can mitigate the impacts and protect the technological infrastructure that underpins our modern way of life. Now let's dive deeper into the science of solar flares and their impact, and our technology's vulnerabilities. Solar flares are classified based on their X-ray brightness in the wavelength range of 1 to 8 angstroms. The classification system includes A, E, P, B, C, M and X classes, with each class having a tenfold increase in energy output. For example, an X1 flare is 10 times more intense than an M1 flare and 100 times more intense than a C1 flare. Recent solar activity has included several X-class flares, such as the X1, 4 flare on June 1, 2024. These flares release vast amounts of energy, equivalent to millions of hydrogen bombs. The intense radiation from these flares can disrupt high-frequency radio communications and GPS signals, impacting aviation, maritime operations and military activity coronal mass ejections and geomagnetic storms. Coronal mass ejections are significant releases of plasma and magnetic field from the sun's corona. When these CMEs interact with Earth's magnetosphere, they can induce geomagnetic storms. The severity of these storms is measured using the KP index, which ranges from 0 to 9. A KP index of 5 or higher indicates a geomagnetic storm. The Carrington event of 1859 produced auroras visible near the equator and caused widespread disruptions in telegraph services. The geomagnetic storm associated with this event had a KP index estimated to be between 8 and 9, indicating a severe storm, 12 plus source. In comparison, recent geomagnetic storms during solar cycle 25 have reached KP indices of 5 to 6, causing moderate disruptions, but serving as a reminder of the potential for more significant events. Today's reliance on technology makes society particularly vulnerable to solar storms. Power grids, for example, are susceptible to geomagnetically induced currents, GICs, caused by the interaction of solar particles with Earth's magnetic field. These currents can overload transformers and lead to widespread blackouts, as seen in the 1989 Quebec blackout. Satellites, essential for communication, weather monitoring and navigation, are also at risk. Solar storms can damage satellite electronics, degrade solar panels and increase atmospheric drag, causing satellites to lose altitude and potentially re-enter the atmosphere prematurely. Protecting these satellites involves hardening their electronics against radiation and implementing protective measures such as shutting down non-essential systems during solar storms. In the quiet of the night, as we gaze up at the sky and marvel at the auroras, let us remember the power of the sun. The Carrington event of 1859 was a wake-up call for humanity, a reminder of our place in the universe and the forces beyond our control. Today, as Solar Cycle 25 reaches its peak, we are reminded once again of the sun's might. Through vigilance, preparedness, and a respect for the natural world, we can navigate the challenges ahead and continue to thrive under the ever-watchful eye of our celestial companion. The sun, with its boundless energy, remains a source of wonder and awe. As Ernest Hemingway might say, it is both our giver of life and a reminder of the fragile balance that sustains us. 
let us heed its warnings and stand ready, for in the dance of the cosmos we are but fleeting participants, ever striving to understand and adapt. In the quiet of the night, as we gaze up at the sky and marvel at the auroras, let us remember the power of the sun. These celestial light shows, like the brush strokes of an artist on the canvas of the night, are a reminder of the awe-inspiring forces at play in our universe. The Carrington event of 1859 was a wake-up call for humanity, a thunderous knock on the door of our understanding, reminding us of our humble place in the grand cosmic ballet. Today, as Solar Cycle 25 reaches closer to its peak, we find ourselves once again under the sun's watchful eye, like sailors navigating under the vigilant gaze of a lighthouse keeper. The sun, our steadfast celestial companion, with its boundless energy, remains both a source of wonder and a harbinger of caution. It is the lifeblood of our existence and a stark reminder of the delicate balance that sustains us. As our giver of life, casting its golden rays upon our days, yet it is also the keeper of a power that can humble us in an instant. We are mere dancers in the cosmic waltz, ever striving to understand and adapt to the rhythms of the universe. Let us heed the sun's warnings and stand ready, for in this celestial dance we are but fleeting participants, guided by the light of our radiant star.